Today I'm gonna show you how to get blonde hair without damaging your real hair. Hey guys, it's Mia, Mia Rangeria. Welcome back to my channel. No angel, but you got a halo. I hope you're doing great because today we're gonna talk about hair. Everything you need to know about this hair. We're gonna talk about where I got it from, how I installed it. Actually, I didn't install it, my friend did, and how I take care of it. So if you're interested, keep on watching. First thing first, I wanna say thank you to Shirley from Ad Colo <laughs> for sending me this hair. On a side note, I hope you guys like the quality of this video. I'm trying to make it better, you guys. I'm putting effort in it, and I got a new camera. New camera? Who this? Hello, Siki. Anyway, let's talk about the hair. So I got this hair in this beautiful box. It was in here, and now it's on my head. But what was in the box, you guys, I think it was very thoughtful. They gave an elastic band, just in case you don't wanna glue your hair. If you attach this from one end to the other, it's gonna make your wig a little bit more secure. And also the wig comes with like combs in it. And I didn't take them out, it's just laying on my hair right now. Next, you get two caps. You guys are gonna see how my friend and I installed it. So she used the other one and you guys are gonna see, you guys are gonna see. I'm just talking about what's in the box right now. It also comes with bobby pins and Clips. This is a really good clip because whenever I style my hair, I need to section it off and this holds it in. The last item in here cracked me up a little bit, but also I thought it was so like, again, thoughtful. So they included lashes, you guys. I think that was so hilarious. I was like, yes, you guys got the right audience because people who usually like wigs usually like false lashes. I love false lashes. Um, I don't have them on right now, but I think that was really nice of them. Don't you guys think? And the lashes look like it's good. I haven't used it yet, but we will see later on. Now let's talk about the quality of the hair. This was my first blonde real human hair. So when I took it out, I was like, that's it? Like that's all you get? Like it looks so small. But once my friend styled it, the hair had so much volume. It looks so nice. Also you guys, the hair was so soft. I was like, this? is real human hair because my hair is not this soft. So the color of the hair is 613. This is a lace front wig, which means this part is the only part you'll be able to like part whatever you wanna part. And you'll look like this. Honestly, it's pretty deep. It goes all the way to here, right? Yeah, it goes all the way to there. So the hairstyle is a body wave, which means you have a little bit of pattern of waves in your hair. As soon as you get it, it's not gonna look like this. I curl this with a curling iron. But if you wash it, then it has that wavy pattern in it. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. So I literally just freshly washed it and didn't do anything. I let it air dry and this is what it looks like. Also the good thing is we barely plucked anything and then it was pre-plucked already. So this is very beginner friendly. And of course I have a coupon code MIA15. Go ahead and use it if your heart desires to save 50% up. Now I wanna move on to coloring. Personally, I don't like yellow blonde hair, but if you wanna rock that, go for it. I think you should tone it, but that's just my personal opinion. So I wanted an icy blonde. So I went to Cosmo Prof, got two colors. They're, um, actually it's right here. So I got two colors to dye the hair and I got another one to dye the roots. I got the color light blonde for the roots. The roots were a fail. As you guys can see, there is barely any roots. This is a brow gel, like a brown brow gel that I did on there. So I colored my hair myself. I have my cosmetology license, but I don't practice. So it seems like I don't have it. But the cool thing is I can buy professional products in a lower price. That's all I use my license for. But uh, yeah, so I color the hair myself. I said it shouldn't be that hard. Honestly, you don't need this whole step. You can skip this step. All you need is get a purple shampoo and get a purple conditioner. Wash the hair with purple shampoo. So you wanna leave the purple conditioner in your hair for about 10 minutes and then the hair is gonna be icy blonde. So let me tell you guys the wrong thing that I did so you guys don't make the same mistake. Just in case you wanna dye your hair. So to dye the hair, you will need the actual cream color and the developer, okay? But I did nothing straight, 
so whenever I put the roots on, I should have used the five developer instead of four developer. So if you want to put a color on a blonde hair, then you just use a low developer, so it's the five one. And then if you want to lift up the color, let's say you want your hair from black to brown or brown to blonde, then you use a higher developer. So like four is pretty high. But I use four for my roots, and obviously the roots were not visible. So that was kind of sad. That was a waste of my time putting roots on this hair. Okay? What's up you guys? This is future Mia talking on the voiceover. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly what I did, but I'm going to tell you not to follow what I did wrong. So the goal was to have very nice brown roots. Yet, I got the right color and I feel like this is a perfect color if I want to transition my roots into the platinum blonde. But the wrong thing was this developer. I should have used a lower developer because the hair that I'm working with is already so blonde. It does not get lighter than this. Now it is time to just add color. So that was the wrong thing and the roots did not appear. Let me tell you, I was pissed. So as you guys see right here, the way I applied the roots were right, I think. But it was just like the mixture that I used was the wrong mixture. You guys see exactly that I'm taking small section. I put my heart in it, my effort in it, and I even did the back, which nobody's gonna see, but I was like, this is gonna be cute. This is gonna be a cute hair. So I took the extra step to do the roots in the back, but the roots did not appear. It's okay because I learned my lesson and also I had fun dyeing the hair. As you guys see right here, I took a hair brush and I was like, mm, if I brush the hair color, then it's gonna melt even better. Once again, the roots did not appear. And then I dyed the hair. I feel like the color didn't show up as much, but it helped making the hair less yellow. All right, so now it's time to color the hair. Let me tell you, this process was not required because this was my first hair. I literally went above and beyond to make sure that the color was right. But this hair is already so blonde, it cannot get any lighter than this. You know what I mean? Like you can just tone it, but you can lift it higher. So make sure you use something that has silver or purple in it. That way the hair is more icy. So I'm talking about maybe you can use a color like me, but that's a little bit more pricey. So I would say just use a purple shampoo and a purple conditioner and soak it in again. It's going to give you the same result. So here I apply the color all over the hair. I kind of brushed it through as well to make sure the color is even. Woo! To cover the whole hair, I finished two tubes of color. And yeah, here I am. Excited for this new hair. <laughs> But to be honest, in a few days, I'm just gonna wash this hair again with the purple shampoo for it to be even brighter. I feel like the hair looks a little bit yellow because I'm wearing orange, but it's not as yellow. Like I can assure you guys, like right here, as you guys can see, it's like more icy. Next! Next, we're gonna move on to the installation. I went all the way to Maryland, one hour away from my house, to get this hair on my head which was fine because it was worth it. I believe that I can do it myself because I watched so many tutorials and I felt like it was so easy. I can do it. But for my first hair, I was like, mm -mm, I'm gonna pay a professional so my hair looks cute for at least two weeks and then we'll think about the next one. One main thing is I don't know how to braid my hair. If I knew how to braid my hair, it would be so much easier, but I don't know how to braid my hair so I had to go to a specialist. I had to go to a professional and it's none other than my friend. She's an amazing hairstylist and we got to know each other through MAC Cosmetics when we both worked as makeup artists. <laughs> so I made sure I did a before and after so you guys can see what's up. Also I tried to not cut too much of the footage you guys because as a beginner, 
myself i want to see a video like that i want to see how it's done how the whole process is how she cuts it everything so i tried to not cut too much but in the background we were playing some music so i had to chop it off you know what i mean because that way i'm not gonna get copyrighted also don't judge my face i literally removed my makeup in the car it sounds a little gross but that's why my skin was a little bit irritated but you can judge it too it's okay no life goes on but yeah I hope you enjoy the content. Let's throw back about a week ago. Na 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 na. Uh, <laughs> What's up, you guys? So I drove one hour. So I hope this hair is gonna be cute. I'm so ready for this. Let's go. Okay, so what do you think? I think it's nice. She lightened the blonde more. Oh, you did this yourself? Yeah. You do hair too? I have a license, but I don't practice. Oh, okay, so I have okay. to like give it to other people first. You should. I know. I think you're capable of doing hair. I think so too, but I need more practice. Cause oh, wow. like, you yeah. Look just so this is the perfect thing to practice on with. I know, right? So how long do you plan on wearing it? Maybe like a week or two. Okay, because that's going to determine how I put it on. Okay, a week or two, two maybe. If, okay. if, if it lasts two weeks, it would be perfect. Okay, so I could glue it in the yeah. front. Yeah. And then sew the back. Sew? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Just be> like... <laughs> Are we going to take this off? You don't have to if you don't want to. This Is, is it going to so... be uncomfortable? If... No, because they lay flat. Okay, okay. Really flat. Okay, okay. So this is like if you just wanted to put it on for like a day. Right. <laughs> so if you wanted to put it on for a day, you can slip the clips in. Okay. Oh, you need that. But for more, you know, longer wear. Yeah. You don't even have to worry. You're not gonna feel them. I'm gonna lay over your hair because yeah. I'm about to braid your hair. Yeah. I'm so. excited for that. Good luck. <laughs> Girl, because this hair. Oh, it's, it's easy hard to, to braid, braid your hair. Okay. So how are you gonna braid it? You just really need something simple. When you do a wig or any yeah. type of sewing, you just need a flat foundation. Okay, okay. So something that's gonna lay over where it still looks natural. Okay. So I'm even gonna use a little bit of product on your hair. And it doesn't have to be like no crazy small braids or anything. How long does a wig actually last? Like let's say I want it for two weeks. But how long do people keep it on? Well, people normally keep it on for up to two weeks and then you could take it off, wash it, wash your hair, and then you can put it right back on. Right with away. proper care, a wig yeah. can last you up to like a year or two. So depending this, on how often So you this wear. one could last me one year if I take care of it. Yeah, okay. maybe even longer because you gotta think you're not gonna be wearing it all the time. Yeah. So it all depends on how often you wear it, how yeah. you take care of it and everything. Okay. So how do I sleep with it at night? Put a bonnet or a scarf on. Because I want it to be like kind of wavy. Do mm -hmm. I put it in a roller or? Yeah, you could. You but could that's do flexi rods. Oh, flexi rods. No, they have um, like these. Ah, uh, yeah. My you mom can sleep has with those. those. Yeah. Okay, so I can just like wrap it in this and or then put a These work really good. So what's the difference though? These are a lot softer and they're easier. These like snap, so they stay in easier. So like. You just roll it up and you snap it. That's and so then you take cool. the other one and you link it yeah. like that and then it all sits on the top of your head. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. What yeah, I think I may want one. But is this gonna be enough for the whole head? Yeah. yeah. Like I wear wigs, but like for a day. You know? Like I'm I just scared to wear one at all. You've never all I think yeah. about is like it flying off. Yeah, unless someone pulls it, then right, yeah. Right. That's when <laughs> you have to be careful. Yeah. That's my fear, so I'm just like I love but I like how convenient. I already know like I want pink hair next. Like I don't even oh, have this yeah. one on and I already yeah. want it. <laughs> you gotta do like a light pink or like a hot pink? A light one, a light one. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, like a rose gold candy, kind of pink. Yeah. But then you'll be gone. I'll go there, California to like for you to do the pink hair. <laughs> I'm gonna be back to do hair. Okay. By the way, you guys, we met at Mac Cosmetics. Yeah. Oh yeah, she told Shout me. out to Pentagon City. Pentagon <laughs> City. It's so inspiring to like work there. Because there's yeah. so much like art. You don't know how to braid, do you? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I remember when we was working at Mac and you asked me to braid your hair. <laughs> or no, I asked you to lay my, uh, my baby hair yeah, but, too, And then no, uh, Anna asked me to braid her hair. <laughs> Two had me finger waving her hair in the break room, like <laughs> in the uh, little yeah, in the break room. <laughs> Jasmine too, and then you both looked at me. It's like, no, yeah, your hair is fine. 
<laughs> or at one point I was like, I want wigs, and then uh, Jasmine was like, go get um, hair extensions. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, it makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. And I did get extensions, but now it doesn't match my color anymore, and I'm sick of it. I was like, I'm just gonna like try a wig. Play, girl. I'm so excited. I sent you a DM when? A year ago. Yeah. <laughs> like when I graduated. Or like a few months ago, I don't remember, but I was like, yeah, I want... Oh, you just graduated from cosmetology not too long ago? No, from um, business school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But cosmetology, I've had it for like five years now. Whoa. But you know, I don't practice, so I feel like it's like I don't have it. But the products I got is mm -hmm. from like the actual store, like Cosmoprof. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Just keep your license valid. Exactly. <laughs> My uh, teacher, she was like, even though you don't practice it, you gotta keep your license for the discount because that way you can have actually good products. Yeah, and then you know you could sign up for the, uh, like a lot of professional account accounts. Yes, that's stuff. what I do, yeah. That's what I do. Namies, that's one of them online. Um, Make up forever, stuff like that. Yeah. So Even just like this, I love it. <laughs> I told you I was gonna have your edges laid, girl. Yeah. Oh my god. Everyone, Everyone is crying. Be getting emotional. Don't go to California. <laughs> Stay in the <laughs> <DMV. laughs> It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap for a lot of money. <laughs> right. All right. So your foundation is done. So this is the foundation. I've seen this all over YouTube. Now I'm putting this on. <laughs> <laughs> I watch so much tutorials that I feel like I'm a pro, but I've never practiced. See, you just gotta practice. Yeah. And this is gonna help, you know, protect your hair and everything. Good, yeah. Okay, yeah. so now, okay, do you want to explain? So now I'm just going to cut this edge off, and then this is where we're going to blend the wig in, the lace okay. in with your scalp. Perfect. So now this is where I'm like kind of customizing it to your hairline. Okay. Do you cut the back too, or just the front? Just the front. You yeah. only cut the back when you want to do like a 360 yeah. wig. Can I work out with the wig? Yeah. But, but if you yeah. If you sweat too much then that's where you would have a problem. It could lift up. Uh, but this glue it normally holds really well. Okay. So you could probably work out and yeah. be good. So when you do this you wanna leave a little bit of space between yeah. your hair and, and the stocking cap so you just slowly trim it away mm. and then afterwards you know you could wipe all this excess stuff off your forehead but mm -hmm. this is really just to protect your hair so my forehead is getting smaller right yes it a will a little bit you don't never want to put the glue directly on okay. your head but this is where we start to really like customize the front to start okay. to blend it in okay. oh my gosh this is so weird you see the little line where the guide is? Yeah. So that's where I'm gonna put the glue, okay. and that's where I'm gonna trim the lace. Oh, okay, got it. So it looks like they really already customized it. How do you know that? Because it's not so heavy in the front, like the thickness yeah. of the hair. So customizing it, I would literally take tweezers and pluck some of the hair out. Mm -hmm. So no need to tweeze no more? Um, or you, you see might later. not need it, really. Oh. So you see like right here, the, where the stocking oh. cap ends? Yeah. And it lines up exactly where the hair starts. Okay. So like right here is yeah. where I would customize it and pluck that out. Okay. Just to thin that out a bit. But even that's going to get cut off. Okay. Oh All right. Gosh. <laughs> yes. So now this is like customizing to your head. So I'm going to cut it out around your ears. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it up. Okay. And even when you do it, you don't want to always do it in a straight line. So I'm even going to show you how I zigzag it a bit. You don't want a perfect line or anything. Just. Yeah, because nobody's hair is like perfect. Perfect, like exactly. So 
this is a glueless wig, but we can still put glue on it. Yes. Yeah. It's glueless because they put like the um baby the baby. clips in it. Oh, the clips. Oh, that's that's the difference. That's right. It. Just right. The clips. So the glue, oh. the wigs that just require glue uh -huh. don't have clips in it, oh. but you can always add clips to them. So now you're tweezing some hair. Yeah. So now I'm gonna customize the front. Just to make it but not you so go heavy. Behind the actual right. Head. Yeah. So you don't want to go directly in the front because we still want to keep that illusion mm -hmm. of it being a hairline. But I don't want it so heavy up mm -hmm. top because, like I said, yours needed to be trimmed more to mm -hmm. customize it because we're not trying to make your forehead look super tiny. Mm -hmm. How many layers of this do you do? You could do one to two, depending on how you want it to hold. Okay. But you see I'm doing like real thin layers, nothing yeah. heavy. Cause this glue is actually like really strong. Yeah. And you put it right on top of the- uh, The line, yeah. The line, yeah. And then if you need to add like anything else, um, after, like to the lace part, then you can add, you know, very little. Oh yeah, gotcha. but just to start, like this is gonna be like my baseline type of thing. Who did your lashes? Uh, my homegirl Lene. It looks really good. Thanks. I wish I could do my own. Cause it looks like very fluttery. It's not like thick or anything. It's oh like, yeah, girl, I love them. So nice. So now you know it's tacky, and then you put it on. Yeah. So now, start at the top, and just lay it over loose. And because the glue could get sticky, mm -hmm. that's why I'm gonna use my comb. So, with this process, you don't wanna rush it, because like I said, you don't wanna mess up your lace. Like, you have to look at this like an investment. Mm -hmm. Cause you know they could be a lot of money. Yeah, hair's expensive. <laughs> yeah, and then you gotta think like, if you really wanna get your money's worth out of it, you're gonna take care of it ultimately. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Mia has been laced up. <laughs> <laughs> it actually feels comfortable. You know how people like flat hair? Mm -hmm. I, I don't like flat hair because I like I, big hair. I have flat hair every day. Yeah. And it's a struggle. I hate flat hair. I like volume. Yeah. The best time to wear wigs are the winter time. Yeah, no, and especially because summertime you sweat serious. more. You know, like how the sun is just like making you sweat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good, good All timing. Right. So now this is gonna help lay this part down. Yeah, to help that look this is natural. Mousse. It's a, it's like a soft mousse. It won't make your hair hard at all. Okay. So it's gonna keep it real soft and the flyaways. Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed it. Help all that lay down. Let me see the product. It's coming together. <laughs> yes. See right here is where we could add your foundation. Ah. Like right on the part. Yeah. This is amazing. It's a whole art. Like the yes. steps. <laughs> for you to like. It's like layers to it. It's just like there's makeup. Layers, there's layers to it. Exactly. It's just like doing makeup.
So you use a flat iron to curl it? Yeah, I love curling hair with a flat iron. You have the technique for it. Cause some people, it's all in the wrist. Yeah, it's all in the wrist, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some people leave it on too long and then it's like, it's not, it's patchy. You know how it's like Oh it's yeah, you can move. see like the lines yeah. and stuff. Oh yeah, I hate that. I hate watching people curl <laughs> their hair with the flat iron because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't curl with flat iron. I curl with a curling iron. Okay. Because this year for me, if I were to see you trying to curl your hair with a flat iron and you were messing up, I'd be like, just let me do it. Just let me do it. <laughs> you wanna grab it out of their hands? Yeah, that's irritating. So, okay, so watch somebody do their makeup and then they start fucking up and then you're gonna be like, mm, Yeah, you wanna blend it. it. You wanna blend the shadow. <laughs> right. You wanna blend the contour. <laughs> I was giving my cousin a makeup lesson. I kept saying the most important thing is blending. <laughs> yes. Blending is key. <clears throat> she don't believe me how them customers be acting crazy at Mac. Oh no, they are. <laughs> they are. Look, don't let somebody come in and we was out of Ruby Woo. Oh my God. What's that? It's a, a lipstick. very a ugly lipstick. red it's lipstick. Ugly. You think it's ugly? So I think it's so pretty popular. though. It's you know, pretty, you know why you think it's ugly? Because too many people want it. That like, it's like, wait, like there's other red. Think about all the other reds yeah. out there. Like, I feel like there's more to life than Ruby Woo. First of all, it's dry as hell. They and need to redo dry. the formula or something. It but it's a good color. It's, it's a good, a good color. color. So is Rihanna's. The, the red one? Yeah. Yeah, that one is a little it's bit smaller. the same thing. No, it feels completely different. So you like the Rihanna one better? You just hate it. Yeah. yeah. I like the, what is it, the Mademoiselle lipstick? Uh, Mademoiselle, what is that? Is that for Rihanna or my? Yeah. Oh, it's Mademoiselle, right? Mademoiselle, okay, yeah. Yeah, because like, I, I looked at the name, I was like, that's so clever, nobody thought about it before. Yeah. Like, Matt and then Moiselle, I was like, wow. Yeah. I think whoever creates the name of her makeup is pretty smart and fun. Oh yeah, like her the liner, of it. Yeah, her liner is called Fly. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa, like, you have a Fly liner, that's amazing. What's your favorite Fenty product? Uh, I would say I really like the foundation when I had it. But yeah, I ran the foundation out of it. is good. Yeah, but I ran out of it, so. <laughs> so it's almost like I don't use it and I don't know how good it is anymore. <laughs> how about you? What's well, your favorite one? Um, my favorite Fenty. I'm gonna say the gloss bomb. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I like that. Yeah. That's yeah, my yeah, shit. Yeah. That's it like an so everyday. Good. You just put you can it use on. it on any skin tone. And you look juicy, healthy, like you drink enough water. Yeah. Yeah. I like that one a lot. That's like a must have. In and my it's purse. not sticky. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. And it's hydrating. Because some gloss look cute, but it's not, not hydrating. hydrating. Yeah. I feel like that's a good mix of Vaseline and gloss at the same time. Yeah, because it doesn't have so much glitter and it still doesn't have like that overpowering color. It's still like neutral. Exactly. But I do like their foundation too. Do you like her highlighter? Yeah, I love Trophy Wife. It's, but um, I love it more as a eyeshadow than a highlighter. Yeah. I've used it more like in the corner of my eyes mm -hmm. more than anything. Yeah. But I do love it as a highlighter though. It's pretty dope. It was so popular at one point. Oh my God. Everyone were on it. Everybody trophy was wife, trophy wife. Because yeah. it was so different too. Like you know how you think of a highlighter, it's more subtle. But she was like, I that wanna make like it gold. Glitter and gold. Wanna, yeah. yeah. It's dope. You have to stand out to make it like work. Yeah, if I'm definitely trying to make a statement, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll put on trophy wife. This is the most important part right here. Yeah. That's what people see the most. Ah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Wow, it looks so good. It looks so good. I look like a Barbie. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at this wave. Oh my gosh. She did that. Oh my gosh. So good. Yes. Oh, I know. It was I know. So good. <laughs> I cannot recreate this hairstyle. No, but like it looks good today, <laughs> tomorrow, and maybe after tomorrow. But then I will use a curling iron later. Wow, wow, wow! Now you like big full wow, hair. Wow, wow. Here, let's put a little bit of this on, on the end. Grab this. There's a blue box. 
Oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah, let's use this one. Oh, wait. It's actually a new one. Yeah, open it. So we're using the Moroccan oil treatment just at the ends. There. Makes it smooth and silky. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You are hilarious. I am so excited. Imagine trying to work with her. <laughs> Every time we get new products, she's like, oh, look, look, look. <laughs> I'm like, girl, we work here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I am so glad I was here. I was about to do this myself. <laughs> You know when you have like new hair, it's like you're feeling yourself. That's me right now. I feel myself. You need to go out and get you a man now. <laughs> Here's a gift for you. Thanks. Thank you, Moroccan oil. Yes, thank you, Moroccan oil. Can't wait to have my makeup on. That's what I was just about yeah, to say. I can't like, wait to see you. I'm, <laughs> I'm so ready. <laughs> <laughs> New hair who this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>